Bill Bean, you are going to the moon. Y'all can come along if you like. <laughs> 24 volts, that's low. We've got a short on it of some kind, but I can't believe that's accurate. Flight Ecom. Go Ecom. I think it's a fuel cell bus failure. They've been thrown offline somehow. That must be why we're getting garbage here. Can they try SCE to AUX? Jared Griffin had never heard that command before. I'm pretty sure most of the people Mission Control had. Tell him. Apollo 12, Houston. Try SCE to auxiliary. Over. FCE to auxiliary? What the hell is that? CE. I'm not sure even Pete knew what that was. But one person did. I, I know what that is. Uh, SCE to aux. We're, we're getting good telemetry from you again. Try to reset your fuel cells. Reset fuel cells. Wait for staging. Wait for staging, yes. Hang on. Copy that, Pete. You're looking good. Poor Jerry Griffin. We were his first mission as flight director, and, well, he had dealt with a longer list of malfunctions than anybody had ever seen. Okay, now we'll straighten out our problems here. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure we didn't get hit by lightning. <laughs> That's exactly what had happened. Before even our first stage had finished doing its job, observers back on the ground later reported that not just one... But two bolts of lightning rode our exhaust contrail all the way back down to the pad and hit the tower. That was a hell of a simulation you guys gave us. I think we got to put this through a little more all-weather testing, guys. <laughs> okay, Al's got all the buses back online, and we'll just square up our platform when we get into orbit. So, I had done my part to help out in the crisis. Of course, that e-com fella, John Aaron, well, we owe a lot to him. But to me, the real hero was Pete Conrad. He kept his hand on the abort handle the entire time, but he kept his cool, and he never used it. 